YouTube Simulator number 4 is almost here. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but this time, I'm for real. YouTube Simulator 4 is almost here, and guys, I know it's taken so long, and then I kept saying, almost here, almost here, give me one day, one day, almost here, almost here. But guys, something's wrong with me, bro. Like, I don't know why. Like, dude, I've always wondered why this game is taking me so long. Like, my old games, I used to be able to finish them in weeks, and this one's taking me. Like, like a year almost and guys i don't know why and it's not like i'm just sitting around being lazy like nah -uh. like i don't know why I, like i can't figure it out guys but i'll show you guys what i've been working on and let's go take a look so the most recent thing i've been working on is a little rag doll and basically what this is it's like a little thing that happens to your character where all your limbs go limp and this is what it looks like when it's applied to your character and the reason why i made this is because in youtube simulator you can enter other people's houses and then if they want they can kick you out of their house and then it's gonna play a little animation where you just go limp and get kicked out of their house and it's gonna be hella funny and this is how it's gonna look speaking of entering other people's studios you can actually enter other people's studios and not only that you can edit their studios as well and use their computer if they allow you to each person has a list right here who can edit my studio and it'll show all the people in the server and you can select people to allow them to edit your studio and it is super nice and easy and not only that when you're in someone else's studio and you place items down you're actually placing their items inside their studio so you can't place any of your own items in their studio but you can place their items in their studio not to mention you can also use their computers and their internet sticks however if you attempt to use a computer that is better than your best computer it will not let you use that computer you can only use the computers that are as good as or worse than your best computer. That way, you cannot use someone's level 100 computer if you just started playing. But guys, I also made this cool plugin the other day. So I was like, yo, you know how on Photoshop there's like a slider where you just slide up the brightness and the entire picture gets brighter. But guys, there's nothing like that on Roblox. So guys, I was like, yo, there needs to be an end to this. So I invented something so insane that you will not believe. It is actually a color curve. I'm just kidding. This is, has been a concept already, but I don't think anyone's ever put it into Roblox. But basically what it does, you select all the parts that you want to change the color of. And then when you change the curve, the parts will change the color according to the curve. And what I mean by that is the red, blue, and green values go into the X axis and they're the input. And then wherever they land, on the curve that's their new value on the y-axis and naturally when you bring the colors closer to the number one they are going to appear more bright you will usually get the best results by changing the right side of the graph to adjust the brightness and changing the left side of the graph to adjust the contrast if you would like to get this plugin the link is in the description as for youtube legends the only thing left Left to do is the console controls other than that there's not really anything else to do to make the game so yeah i'm so excited for this game to release and i will see you later i'm just kidding